justice is served because Nikki actually found out the person who was behind all of those SWAT calls. And I'm super happy that Nikki got the assistance that she got from the detective, okay? And she gave a shout out to say she's so grateful the DA filed one count for the sweating call and one for the falls report to DCFS. Now that is a sick person, Stephanie. So this is what the article says. Nicki Minaj has fallen victim to Swadden pranks on multiple occasions recently. Swadden involves a person calling the police and making false claims that result in authorities showing up at the target's house, okay? On Wednesday, August 23rd, Nicki updated fans on the saga, which apparently ended with someone facing criminal charges, okay? And the person name is Stephanie because Nikki basically told us that on her Instagram story, okay? And Stephanie had the nerve to call the police to say she heard gunshots uh nikki is abusing the baby and the baby's always crying and they hear sounds coming from that house like people are actually allegedly saying it's one of cardi b's fans now i don't put anything up you know past cardi b fans because there's the rival there you know and nikki and cardi does have beef so, you know, the Barb's are going to say something and Cardi B fans are going to say something. But to this extent, though, it's crazy. Why would you do that to Nikki? You know, she's a human being. You don't have no beef with Nikki. You know, Cardi has beef with Nikki. And if Cardi ain't doing it, why the fans are? That's super crazy. And now you're facing criminal charges. Was it worth it, dummy? Like, why would you do that? And the fact of the matter is, I know this person is probably unemployed. They probably don't even have $8,000 in their bank account. And you're going to show up to court and testify. You're going to be slapped with a guilty charge. And you're going to face charges. Like, how are you going to even try to up yourself out of the situation? You know, I could never understand uh, people that are, you know, broke like myself. I would never put myself into a situation that is going to get bad. Like, we, I don't even have money. So for me, even though I'm a barb, I would have never done something so crazy. First of all, I'm not even going to do anything because I'm not a Cardi B fan. That's crazy. Cardi B is a human being, okay? Beef within music, that's different. But if I should take it up on myself to do something crazy, that would have made me a very horrible person. Like, it's not that serious, you know? Why would you sweat call to say, oh, Cardi B is abusing uh, her baby? That's crazy. I would have never done something like that, even though I'm a barb, you know? Sometimes you have to protect your soul. Like, they, these people are celebrities, you know? They don't even know us. Nikki doesn't even know Sips Loud Channel, okay? At least not for now, but I'm just saying, you know? I love Nikki, and I'm a Nikki fan, 100%. Am I a Cardi B fan? No, but I would have never done anything like that towards Cardi B. She's a human being. We're all humans, and there's boundaries and stuff that we should know what to do and what not to do, what is right and what is wrong. It's okay to voice your opinions about who you like and who you don't like, but don't go overboard to do something crazy. You know, you're going to get yourself in serious problems. And these people are actually crazy because what did she get out of the situation? Nikki has a lot of money. She's a millionaire. You thought that she wasn't going to find out? Huh? And let me just say, Kenneth Petty, the husband of Nicki Minaj, okay? He registered as a sex offender. So Nikki doesn't want any more drama or people allegedly saying this about her and that about her. So she's going to definitely try to clear her name from any possible accusations. OK, and they were false. Like people need to 
give Nikki a break. She lost her dad, yo. She lost her dad recently. Y'all need to be more mindful of what you're doing, okay? Cardi B isn't that serious when it comes on to the Nikki beef. You know, she's no longer tagging Nikki or speaking directly to Nikki. So what's the point, Stephanie? Like that was super dumb. And I hope you learned your lesson dumbass but let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section y'all don't forget to leave a like share if you care hit that notification bell follow us on instagram at sips loud and thank you for sipping with us bye guys